Nissan has committed an additional £2 billion to its British factory, announcing plans for fully electric Juke and Qashqai models. While this development doesn't immediately translate into new jobs at the Sunderland plant, it provides job security for existing employees in the years to come. However, there's a question about whether Nissan is taking a gamble by transforming its best-selling models into electric vehicles EVs, especially considering the Cash KI status as the top-selling car in the UK in 2022, a significant achievement for a domestically produced car after decades. Nissan President Makoto Uchida emphasizes the necessity for change, stating, We cannot continue doing what we were doing in the past. He stresses the responsibility of each country to target carbon neutrality and mentions the need for competitiveness in cost while delivering value to customers. The evolving regulatory landscape worldwide poses challenges, and the key to sustainability lies in how Nissan adapts to these circumstances. Uchida acknowledges that the advent of more affordable elves, driven by the expansion of Chinese brands in Europe, has arrived earlier than expected. The sharp decrease in EV prices is identified as a key success factor for major manufacturers in the coming years. David Moss, Nissan's senior vice president of R&D, echoes this sentiment, emphasizing the importance of confidence in their products while staying vigilant about competitors, including emerging Chinese brands. Discussing the potential shift of the Qashqai to electric power, Moss characterizes it as a business decision expressing confidence derived from Nissan's 12 years of experience in electric vehicles and the success of three generations of the Qashqai. The next generations of the Duke and Qashqai will share platforms with Renault and will be exclusively electric, with no capacity for internal combustion engine, ICE, powertrains. However, considering that 80% of cars produced in Sunderland are exported, and global markets are moving toward different timelines for petrol and diesel bans. There's a suggestion that the current generations of crossovers could continue production for markets outside of Europe to fully utilize the plant's capacity.